Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna share the top three best apps on iOS that I use daily for my work and study. The top best three apps I'm about to share with you guys today are very useful. As I mentioned, I have used these three apps for my daily work and study. Okay, without further ado, let's get started. The first app I want to introduce to you guys today is PDF Element. When you hear the word PDF, of course, you might think the app itself is used for reading the pdf files however this app offers more tools to be used with your pdf files when i open uh, my document and you can see these four tools on the top the first tool is annotate and when i tap on annotate you can see on the left there are so many tools that i can play around with and i can use these tools to edit to highlight any text in my document the second tool is the text it means that when i tap on it i can choose where to edit the existing text in this document the third one allows me to manage the page I'm seeing on this document. As you can see in this document, there are certain pages. And with this tool, I can rearrange any page I want. So I can move page number two to the last one or I can yeah, switch over. And the last tool is bookmark. So it's very simple. You can place the bookmark on any page you want to continue your reading. So now let's moving on to the annotate. As I mentioned earlier, the annotate tool allows you to interact with the existing text on your phone. As you can see the first tool, as you can see, I can highlight the text. So I just tap on the color so I can highlight the word. The next one is to underline the text. As you can see here, so I can even change the color of the underline. So change the green one. The next one is to cross out the text. So I tap on it, I select the text I want to cross out and the same I can change to different color. The next one is the pencil. Tap and hold on the pencil icon you can see more features existing within this. Yeah, I can draw on it. The next one is the eraser. So I can use the eraser. You can see the circle here. So I can erase what I, I draw. Moving on next is the T tool, which is to add the tag and change uh, the font styles as well as the font size and even the color of the font. And next is the note. I can just take note at the same time. And this one is the stamp. And the next tool is to add your signature so just tap on this signature tool tap here to create signature so just tap on it and now please sign so to sign what you can do is to use your finger yeah so i'm using my index finger now something like this i can even change the color of my signature different colors i can increase the size let's do it again something like this i like it take so now I get a signature. Yeah, so I can place the signature where I want to. You can see here, I can resize the signature big or small and I can move it to anywhere I want it to. Okay, that's all about the annotate tool. Moving on next is the text. So tap on the text. Now I'm able to edit any part of the existing text inside this document. As you can see the dot rectangle around any area of the text. So if I just want to edit this one, I can just tap on it and I can edit right away. The third one, which I love the most is how I can rearrange any pages I want to. So tap on the third tool. I can just go with edit and now I can move around the page. So tap and hold number five. So as you can see now, I changed from page five to number two inside this one as well what i love the best is the ability to extract any single page that i want to out of this whole document just tap on any page that you want to extract so i i tap on page three four so i want to extract page number three and four what i'm gonna do next is to tap on the third icon here you see so save as now i can change the name i name it as two pages so now let me find the two page document over here. As you can see two page X. Yeah, so the two page are here. So now I'm going to combine these two documents together. So it means that the final document would have three pages. So in order to combine the two documents together, what you have to do is, is to tap the, the icon on the top right here. 
and tap on the two documents and then you can see merge just tap on merge now you are asked to name a new document with the three pages just tap done tick and now let's open the three pages merge document now you can see i have three pages on this new document and you can even share this document or you can send it to someone using your Wi-Fi. So tap here and tap on Wi-Fi. And now someone can access to your document through this address. But make sure that you both are on the same Wi-Fi network. Okay, now let's move on to the second app. So the second app that I would like to share with you guys is the Scanner Pro. Scanner Pro is the best app for scanning and saving a digital version of a paper document. You can scan your certificates, receipts, checks, agreements and more with four different modes available such as color document, black and white document, color photo and grayscale photo. Whatever mode you select to scan you can also come back to edit and choose a different one. I can adjust the brightness and the contrast of this scan document to get the result I want. This looks pretty amazing to me. Look at this. You can see how clear the text is using this app to scan. One more thing I love the most about this app is the capability to convert any scanned documents into a text that can be selected and copied. And this feature supports, you know, 21 languages. So in order to access to these features, just open your scan document and then tap on the three dots on the top right and then choose recognize text OCR and now it is being scanned one more time and you can see different options text and image so now I select text and I can copy all go to my note and paste and see that you can you know adjust a little bit and you can get all of this very quickly after scanning all of these documents you can even save it in Google Drive so i can save it in google drive right now before saving onto the google drive you can also have the feature of saving this scan document in either pdf or jpg and you can also choose the size of this document press done and i can tap on google drive and this app is linked with the google drive so i can just so i can just go to the folder that I want to save this document. Okay guys, so now let's move on to the last app that I would like to introduce to you guys in this video. This is one of the apps that I love very much, the MindNote. MindNote is the most delightful mind mapping app for Mac and iOS. It helps me capture my thoughts and create a clear picture of my idea. As you can see, this is my mind map. I have a note about Final Cut Pro tutorial. So I divide it into four different apps. As you can see in each episode, I have two different videos that I have to work on. And this is very handy. As you can see, I can tap on the Final Cut Pro tutorials. I can follow note, I can delete, I can cut, I can copy, and I can paste. Tap add, you can see now I'm just making another branch. And in order to make another branch, I can tap on the plus here. Okay, it extended and I use this one to change it into this way. On the left hand side, you can see there are more features. One of the features is the outline. After having all the ideas written, I can also share this one with anyone I want to. Tap on share icon. Now I can choose export type. I can uh, go with image if I want to or PDF. So it's better to choose PDF because everybody know how to read PDF on their smartphone or their PC, right? So choose on PDF and then send to app. I'm gonna send this to the PDF element. Now I got this document open on the PDF element. As you can see, the PDF document from the MindNote is saved in high quality. As you can see that, I zoom in, but the pixels of the text remain the same. It's very clear and nice. Okay, so that pretty much it, guys. Thank you so much for spending so much time watching my video. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comment down below. Thanks.